In the Hula community, winning the title of Miss Aloha Hula has become recognized as the most prestigious individual honor, each year attracting many of Hawaii's finest dancers to this competition. Contestants are required to perform both modern and ancient styles of Hula, including an oli or chant. Fourth runner-up, Rhonda Waionuhea Dudua composed her own chant, Mele Noi Ho'omai Ka'i. It expresses her respect for her kupuna and her aloha for Hilo, her hometown. Third runner-up, Ulalia Leiloke Okavika Woodside performed Lahi Lahi Kai O Mamala, describing the delicate ocean spray of Mamala on Maui. Alapa'i Kanamu, the second runner-up, danced Pao Kalani for her hula awana or modern dance. This classic song was composed by Queen Lili'u Okalani during her imprisonment at Iulani Palace. The first runner-up, Elena Chanchek, performed a hula kahiko for Queen Kapi'olani called Hele no Kapi'olani. The melee describes the queen as, quote, the adorning lay of the land, strung by the pu'ulena wind, the wind that follows the path of the volcano, blown seaward of Hilo Hanakahi. The title of Miss Alohahula 1994 went to Tracy Ko'onohilani Farias. Her Awana performance featured the classic song Moku o Keave. The original music for this melee had been lost long ago, but in the 1940s, Bill Lincoln composed a melody that gave this song new life. The Owana is real special to me because it's, it talks about the Big Island, and my family is from the Big Island, my grandfather. So yeah, I have a special connection, and I love the song. The song is so beautiful, so I love dancing to it. And it's so easy when the musicians sound so beautiful, and you can just express. Um, well, hula is basically my whole life. I mean, I've grown up with hula. My family has been dancing or singing. So, basically everything I do, whether it's school, work, being with my friends, most of my friends are hula dancers too. So, um, everything I do has something to do with hula. So, it's what I love. I mean, it's my first love. Under the direction of Na Kumuhula, Thaddeus Wilson and O'Brien Esselo, from Navai Eha Opuna, Tracy Kaonohi Lani Farias. Moku Okeabe was written by Emilia Kaihunua, a court dancer for King Kala Kaihu. On her first overseas trip, Emilia was amazed at the foreign palace, that special place, excuse me, California. She describes the snow that bleaches the skin, the misty rain, and the nipping cold. She realizes that there is no comparison to Hawaii.